and salam sejahtera. Today, we are going to discuss Chapter 3, Cost Behavior. There are four learning objectives of this topic. There are three types of cost behavior. The first type is variable cost. Second one is fixed cost. And the third one is mixed cost. Variable cost. The amount of total cost varies accordingly to the changes in the level of activity. If the level of activity increases, the total variable cost will increase and vice versa. Direct relationship with the level of activity. Variable cost per unit is fixed. For example, direct material, direct labor, and variable overhead. Indirect material, indirect labor. Illustration for variable cost. Mimi Cake House sells variety of cakes. The information below is related to its business operation. The cost of flour is 80 cents per cake. If production for 3 months is 2,000 units, 3,000 units, and 4,000 units respectively, calculate the total variable cost and variable cost per unit of flour for each month. There are three levels of production units. The first level is 2,000 units. Total variable cost is 1,600 ringgit and variable cost per unit is 80 cent. To get 80 cent, we, we must divide RM1600 Divide by 2,000 units. So, we will get 80 cent. The second level of production units is 3,000 units. Total variable cost increased to 2,400 ringgit, but the variable cost per unit is constant, 80 cent. The third level of production units, 4,000 units. Total variable cost increased to 3,200 ringgit. Variable cost per unit is still 80 cent. Graph 1. Relationship between total variable cost and activity. In total, total variable cost increases and decreases in proportion to the changes in the activity level. When the activity unit is 2,000 units, the cost is 1,600 ringgit. When the activity units increase to 3,000 units, the variable cost increase to 2,400 ringgit. When the activity units is 4,000 units, the variable cost is 3,200 ringgit. So the conclusion is, total variable cost increases and decreases in proportion to the changes in the activity level. Graph 2. Relationship between variable cost per unit and activity. From this graph, we can see that variable cost per unit remain constant. When the activity units is 1,000, 2,000 and 3,000 units, the variable cost per unit is still 80 cents. So the conclusion is variable cost per unit remains constant. Fixed cost. The amount of total cost is fixed despite changes in activity. 
fixed cost per unit will, in, will decrease with increasing level of activity and vice versa. For example, factory rent, insurance, advertising. Illustration for fixed cost. The cost information shows the rent expense of creative enterprise is 15,000 ringgit. If production for 3 months is 5,000 units, 6,000 units and 7,000 units respectively, calculate the total fixed cost and fixed cost per unit for each month. There are 3 levels of production units, 5,000 units. Total fixed cost is 15,000 ringgit. But the fixed cost per unit is 3 ringgit. To get 3 ringgit, you must divide total fixed cost 15,000 ringgit divided by 5,000 units. Then we will get 3 ringgit per unit. For the second level of production unit, 6,000 units, the total fixed cost is still 15,000. But the fixed cost per unit is two ringgit fifty cent. And the third level of production units, seven thousand units, total fixed cost is fifteen thousand. But the fixed cost decreased to two ringgit fourteen cent. Graph three, relationship between total fixed cost and activity. When the activity unit is 5,000, 6,000, and 7,000 units, the total fixed cost is remain constant, 5,000 ringgit. So the conclusion is, in total, total fixed cost is not affected by changes in the activity level within the relevant range. Graph 3. Relationship between fixed cost per unit and activity. From this graph, we can see that fixed cost per unit decreases as the activity level rises and increases as the activity level falls. Behavior of the cost within the relevant range. This is the conclusion between variable cost and fixed cost in total and in per unit. Variable cost in total, total variable cost increases and decreases in proportion to changes in the activity level. And per unit variable cost per unit remains constant. For fixed cost in total, total fixed cost is not affected by changes in the activity level within the relevant range. Per unit, fixed cost per unit decreases as the activity level rises and increases as the activity level falls. Thank you.